Whenever you're talking to the seller on the phone or you're going on an appointment, you need to have this one goal in mind that you're trying to achieve. And understand that if you don't meet this goal, then you need to find a solution that's going to be able to meet this goal for you as a real estate wholesaler. And so this goal that I'm talking about, which a lot of people would understand this, is we're trying to get this house as low as possible. And more specifically, we're trying to get this property discounted enough that we can sign it up on a contract and sell it over to a cash buyer. So with this, we need to try to attain this goal whenever we are talking to a seller. And if this seller is unable to meet this goal, then we need to move on to the next one. Because if we waste too much time trying to make this deal work, then this deal will never end up working out or well it's just a big waste of time you can your time can be invested a lot better in a different direction so this is a this is something that i think will be really great advice for those that are beginners and those that have already closed deals is kind of just like refreshing that mindset or just reinstating what you already know so whenever you're going into a house you need to figure out how motivated they are and really dive into that section of why you're going out there and trying to sign up this deal. So what you need to do is really dive into the motivating piece and build up um, enough rapport so that way you can get this property at as low of a price as possible. And so the way that we do this is just talk to them and not necessarily just talk about the house, talk about life, talk about what's going on inside their life. So whatever, like if you've ever seen my seller script or you've kind of heard me talk about it, you'll notice that I always ask them, why would you consider selling this property? And the reason being is because we want to figure out their motivation. And then most of the times you get some sort of BS answer up front. Oh, I just, I'm tired of the house or whatever. or Oh, my family's moving here. And then what you need to do is just put their hold their feet to the fire and just keep pressuring them into figuring out what the reasons are. And I don't mean this kind of like in a negative connotation because pressuring kind of comes off, kind of rubs people off the wrong way sometimes. But I mean like trying to dive into like their life and trying to figure out what's going on so that way you can help them out the best situation as possible. Now obviously you don't want to come off as some like sleazy person that's just trying to find out as much information about this person that uh, they don't really trust or have any respect for you. So you need to build these things up as things go on. And the best way that I've learned to be able to do this is to become more personable. So. One thing that, like, I don't think I've ever talked about any of my videos, but I, I'm realizing I should have considered is that also there's a little bit of like a different cultural change, different parts in different parts of this country. So if you're more on the West Coast, it's probably a lot easier to talk to people and dive into uh, what's going on inside their life or like kind of like the Midwest. Uh, some of these people, they're just more conversational. They're more willing to share information. They're more willing to just talk about life and just kind of don't really have any sort of timeline on how busy they are or anything like that. Now, whereas more on like the East Coast, you're going to be talking to people and they're just they're just straight to the point, want to talk business and want to get straight to just talking about the numbers. And if the numbers don't work, they're done. They want to move on to the next one. So uh, with this in mind, you got to kind of really understand what type of person that you're talking to. So if it's more like the type of person, which I still talk to both of these types, the both of these parties, but for me, it's more or less like it's less people that are more straight to the uh, just what's in it for me. And then whereas on the East Coast, I feel like it's more uh, what's in it for me and then less kind of, oh, how's your day going? Uh, what did you do today? Just that type of general stuff. And so with this, you got to keep this in mind, but you got to kind of adapt to these different types of personalities and what type of person that you're talking to, what type of seller are you talking to on the phone? And you need to figure out the best way to kind of really dive into why they're selling their house and trying to figure that out. And the best way that I do this is I just try to relate to the person as much as possible, even if I have literally nothing to do with this type of like what this person does i just try to act really interested at the minimal or try to pr progress the conversation and talk about uh, what they enjoy as much as possible so i got an itch but uh the best way that i do this like here's an example i guess so let's say this is something i know 
very little about. Let's say that someone's like, oh yeah, I do crocheting and something like that. I don't know why this piece would come up. Uh, maybe you're talking about like, hey, how's your day going? They're like, oh cool, I just crocheted this scarf. I don't know, it's completely random. But let's say that someone talks about that. Then maybe what I would do is just say something along the lines of, oh yeah, when my mom was pregnant with one of my sisters, uh, she would get into crocheting and I thought it was really cool. She'd make a lot of beanies and all this type of stuff and then just start talking about knitting or crocheting and even though you like literally know nothing about it just try to relate to them in any way shape or form now obviously don't lie to them and just be like oh yeah i used to do crocheting and that i i mean i i mean i guess you could do that but i wouldn't really like i don't really respect people that just kind of front something that they really aren't but try to relate to them in some sort of way or just be like or another example of this would be instead of relating it to my mom then another example might be, oh, okay, cool. What type of pieces do you knit? Do you do beanies? Do you do scarves? Do you make blankets? What do you do? And then they might start telling you, oh, okay, do you, uh, do you sell these pieces? Or are you just doing it for friends and family for fun? I know this is kind of a rabbit hole, but the, the point that I'm making is you just really need to try to build rapport with these people. And as you start to just talk about their life, they start to open up a little bit more and then they're willing to share a little bit more information with you that they might not have been willing to share with you at the beginning because they have no idea who you are. But as you relate to them more, as you start to talk to them about their life a little bit more, they start to become more and more excited. And I do this all the time. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of funny. It's just been part of my life. I've just after I've like done sales and a lot of this different stuff, I've just kind of like re noticed that the more that I do stuff like this, the more more people are like willing to do for me or just kind of progress the relationship and be able to build things up. So maybe I like, I probably even do this like with my girlfriend, just different people I talk to and just act interested and be genuinely interested in it. And they just like, people will start to love you. It's kind of funny. Just talk about other people and not talk about yourself and people will love you. It's kind of like a weird concept. Obviously this doesn't work nine, like a hundred percent of the time. It's probably like 95% of the time, but still, if you just get people to like you and you just talk about them, they're more likely to be willing to cut you a deal or be able to sell this house at a discount. So with that in mind, as you start to build up this respect, trust, and rapport, you're able to reach that goal of getting a property at a discounted price so that way you can make an assignment fee on this wholesale, fee, wholesale deal. Anyways, that's what I got for you guys and hope you enjoy this video. But like always, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace.